welcome back to another video. I am so excited about this video today <laughs> because for me this video means that I am finally done working with all of these Black Widow colored pencils and putting them into color family order. I've taken all 180 colors, I put them into color family order, and I have sorted them all out by undertone and into color family. So I am so excited about this. Now, if you've seen my last video where I put all of the previous 144 colors into color family order, this chart here will probably look familiar to you. And I thought I was going to make it easy on myself, and I was just going to take all of these colors here from the Black Widow Dragon set that I swatched in my review video. If you've not yet seen my review video for the Dragon Pencils, I'll make sure that's linked in the upper right-hand corner. But I thought I was going to take these colors and just stick them in here wherever they may go. But the more and more I was looking at this, I was just looking at it and I'm like, nope, that shouldn't go there. No, this needs to be moved over here. And I was doing it so much that I was like, let me just rearrange the entire thing to an order that I like much, much better. So that is what I did. So it's taken me quite a few days and lots of hours. I think I topped out at like maybe 16 to 20 hours. <laughs> I don't know. It took a long time but I finally have the order that I'm happy with. And so we are going to swatch all of these out today in my color family order. If you would like to swatch with me, please go ahead and stick around for this video. I do have a customized swatch chart. And if you're watching this video right now, this swatch chart will be available in my Etsy store as of the time this video is posted so that y'all could follow along with me and fill out your own swatch charts. But these are all already in color family order. Like I said, all according to undertones or as much as I can put them in order according to their undertones. And I really, really love the new order and how they turned out. So I'm really excited to share that with all of you today. You can pick this up in my Etsy store as well as a generic one just like this. There are 180 boxes on here between both of these. And so you can use this for any of the 180 colored pencil sets that you may have as well. If you have the Sioux Color or the 180 Brute Fooners, this chart, the generic one without all the names and numbers already filled in, would be great for those if you want to use it for that. So my idea behind this was that I wanted each one of the boxes where I swatched my colors to be big enough so that I could create a gradient. Those of you that have been watching my videos for quite some time, you know I like to do a gradient of light, medium, dark. I wanted to be able to do that and still be able to actually see the color and be able to compare the colors and just see the colors in a very beautiful order as they go down from top to bottom. So after I have all of the colors swatched out, then I would take each one of these sheets and put them in a protective sheet inside my color swatching binder and I would just put one on the top and then I would turn this one over and put one on the bottom and then so I would have top and bottom and I could just flip it back and forth just like that or turn the page in my binder. After we're all done swatching out all 180 colors, like I did with the previous pencil sets or swatches that I completed in a color family order video, I am going to make my actual swatch chart available in my Etsy store as well. I always like to make the little disclaimer that you can never guarantee just from a picture that colors are going to match up exactly, but from what I know and those of you that have purchased those from my Etsy store, you have told me and left me really positive feedback and said that they were good enough and it's almost a perfect match once you printed them out. And they will be in PDF form so you could also store them in your phone and look at them on your screen and still be able to see all the colors. So I'll have that available for those of you that don't want to swatch your colored pencils or can't swatch your colored pencils for some reason. So if you check the description box down below, 
you will find everything you need down there. If you're not already a member of my Facebook group, please do join my Facebook group. I will also have links down there for my email list, my Etsy store, and my Patreon if you would like to support me there. And of course, a direct link that will take you to these swatch charts that I'm going to make available to you. So there are so many of you that are always very curious about how I do this and how I put my colors into color family order. And so I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. I showed it in my Mark Art video, but I had already thrown away my original sheets. So I didn't get to show it really, really thoroughly. So I'm gonna share that now in this video for those of you that don't have the Mark Art pencils and you did not already see that. But this is how I put these in color family order. Now, for this set, this was a little bit different because I did have a lot of the colors already swatched out. So it did sort of help me, but I noticed when I went back to go look at this that these colors had faded over time. And once I started to swatch out some of the colors and test them, the color was not the same as it was on here. <laughs> so that was a little bit surprising to me. So these colors do fade. Of course, they don't make any guarantee that they're light fast. So that is fine with me, but it was a lot of re-swatching of a lot of colors to figure out exactly where they were going to go. This one for the dragon set, because I just did my review, this one was really nice and fresh and these were just laid down. So these colors were really, really accurate. But the first thing I do is I take all of the colors from every color family, like all of the yellows, and I just lay them out on my desk. And then I will take all of the yellows that I am curious about. In this set, it was a little bit different because there were only a few that I questioned because I did have this, and even though the colors were faded a little bit, I could still tell which colors were darker than others and lighter than others and had the same undertone. I could still pretty much get a really good idea by looking at this one here, but like this one here, the Sunburst and the Lemonade, I think those end up, ended up getting switched around because the Sunburst is actually brighter than the Lemonade. I'll see when I go to my actual pencil case and the swatch chart, but I'm pretty sure that the Sunburst and the Lemonade got switched around. But if there were any that I was questioning and wanted to know exactly what order to put them in, I would just swatch them out like this, like here's some yellow oranges, and apparently I was questioning those, so those are a lot of these colors here, and then I was able to tell what order they went in to lay them down on my first print of my swatch chart, and I was able to write in all the names and the numbers next to them. And then you can see here that I did the same thing with the greens. And what I did with the greens is the greens were so much harder for me to tell because the order that I had them on in here, I really just did not like. And so they got completely rearranged, completely rearranged. <laughs> So I think the olives, a lot of the more olivier colors, I think they sort of stayed in the same place. But over here, a lot of these got changed around because I noticed that some of the undertones were similar and they were in the wrong places. But what I would do is I would just swatch out all of the colors and then I would come back here and I would put a circle around them for the ones that I could see that have the same undertone. Then after I do that, then I will just mark them one, two, three, four, like I did here. I've got one, two, three, four in the order that I assumed they would go down on the swatch chart. Then after I transferred them to the swatch chart, I was able to see if they were laid in the right place. So after I did this for every single color, you could see that I did it for most all of the colors or most of the color families. The browns were swapped around quite a bit and there were a couple colors that I were, was a little bit unsure about and I think the saber was one and then some of the colors that are a little bit strange like cat's eye, you could see here cat's eye is a beautiful color but it's very, very different. And then what were some of the other colors? Like this Picasso sky was a very different color as well. And then I think we have blush, which is a very different color. And you can see here that I was trying to figure out exactly where to put that one. I even swatched these out here to pay much more attention to their undertone to see where they might fit in the colors that I already had laid out. And then you could see here on this swatch chart, I've got all my arrows and everything saying, stick this in here, put this here, move this here. These two here should be together. And I just go back and forth until I have the order that I want. And so that was the first go around. 
And then I printed out some blank sheets for the colors that I really wasn't sure about. And I just went in and I laid them all down to see how they looked right up next to one another. And then after I was done, I just switched them around. Here you could see I did the greens. Then after I laid down the greens, I switched them around. And then this here, I laid them down again. And this was my final order. So I knew that this was the order that I was gonna lay them on my final swatch or the order that I was gonna put them in when I created my customized swatch. So that's how I put all of the colors into color family order. You could see I did it again and laid down all of the purples just to see how they looked next to one another. And I had to do it with the blush and the mushroom and the light pink and the ice cream. And I had to move those around a little bit more and see where to stick them in. So it was a really long process and it took me, I think I was pushing maybe 20 hours, <laughs> which seems like a lot of time, but I kind of just did it in increments. So it didn't, I mean, it seemed like, it did seem like a long time, but I did it in increments and did it whenever I had time. And it's just really relaxing for me to just sit down and be able to do something like that. And I'll play Christmas music in the background or something and just sit here and focus and concentrate on putting the colors in order. So let's take a look at how the colors look now that they are laying in the case. <laughs> now we all know with the uh, Black Widow pencils, they do all look different. There are diff several different sets that come in the Black Widow series. So the first three are the Black Widow, Scorpion, and then Cobra. And then they came out with the two skin tone sets. They have the light skin tone set and the dark skin tone set. And then after that, they released the Monarch, which is a beautiful set that has lots of pastel colors in it and a huge assortment of greens. So that set is really, really great. If you were to just buy the individual Monarch set, you will have a really great set to color leaves and different botanicals and things like that. And this last dragon set that came out had a lot of really great colors for botanicals too. So if you were just to buy two sets and it was the Monarch set and this uh, last dragon set, you would have a really good assortment to be able to color in a book like Joanna, Joanna Basford's World of Flowers. Lots of pinks and reds and oranges and greens and then a whole bunch of pastel colors that work in really, really nice nicely with some of those other colors. And then if you were to just to purchase, if you only could afford one set of these pencils, I would suggest going with the very first Black Widow set because you do get your black and your white. And then you get colors as well from every different color family because that was the main original set. But the great thing about the Black Widows is that you can purchase them in order as you're able to afford them. And that's what makes them so nice. Now, once you were to purchase every single set, you are spending quite a bit of money. I haven't really added it up yet, but it is <laughs> rather expensive. At that point, you're, more, you're past the cost of Prismacolors. Although at this point, you are getting an additional 30 pencils because we have 150 in the Prismacolor set. This is what they look like laid out in the case in color family order. And each new set that came out, they have changed them just a little bit. So I would go ahead and take a look at the tip of the pencil here or the core of the pencil so that you could see the color. Now, when I lay my pencils in my uh, color pencil cases, I always go this direction and then I come back over and then I go back down and I do that through the whole entire case. So then I come back over here and I go up this way and then I come back down this way and then we're gonna continue over here with our blue greens and come back up. So many gorgeous greens, look at all those gorgeous greens. And then we even have more greens over here and lots of olive greens. And then we've got our beige, I think these are like our beige type colors as we get into our browns. But there is quite an assortment in this set now. And then over here we've got our grays and we actually have a couple blacks in this set. And we even have two different shades of white. Okay, so here are my swatch charts. I've already got all the names and the numbers all filled in. So that is gonna make it easy for me to go ahead and just swatch these out and be able to make sure I match up every color with every single space on my swatch chart. And I did make a post in my Facebook group and I asked you all if you wanted commentary while I swatched and 
you all wanted me to do commentary and call out the names and or I'm not going to call out the numbers but I'm going to call out the names so that those of you that just want the video to play in the background while I swatch you can do that and you could swatch along with me and I promise I'll try not to make a mistake <laughs> But if you have this printed out, I have checked and rechecked this. I can't even count how many times, but hopefully it is perfect. I tried to make sure everything was lined up and it was absolutely beautiful. So we are going to go ahead and start swatching. So if you would like to follow along, you can go ahead and grab this out of my Etsy store. And that link is down below. The first color that we're going to swatch is snow. And of course, we're not really going to be able to see it because this is one of our whites. But as I swatch this, you all can see exactly how I swatch my pencils. I like to do a gradient of color. The next one is Casper. And so to create that gradient, you'll be able to see a lot better how I do it when I come to the darker colors. And laying these colors, I would like to lay these two colors actually down on black paper because I'm really curious how these two whites look. I can't actually see a difference. You can't probably see it on camera, but this white is actually darker than this white. That is so super cool. They're like really two different shades of white. <laughs> and then the next one I have is milk. I'm going to be so excited to see all these colors come together at the end. So I just put like generally one layer down there like that and then I start here which is like leaving one third of it very very light and then do the other two thirds of it with a little bit harder pressure and then I come in at the end and I like to make a really dark swatch all the way here at the end. The next one I have is Oyster. And so again, I'm just gonna make the really light swatch. I just, I cannot wait to see how all these colors look once they're all laid out. And then I'm gonna do a darker color right here. And again, I like to make sure they're all right lined up or the same distance. When I slide them back in my case, I like to make sure that the name is actually turned up so that I could see them. And this one is light yellow, but we all know with the Black Widow pencils that they are going to all be very different because some have gold writing, some have white writing. We now have the dragons that have the orange writing. That is such a pretty yellow. And this next one is Sunburst. Let me go ahead and take this other sheet out from under here so that I don't mess it up until we get to it. But this one is called Sunburst and it is SL004 or 004. Some of the colors in this set are just absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna have to keep watching my camera and make sure that it doesn't turn off. <laughs> because it's only programmed or well any camera is only programmed to film for 30 minutes and then they shut off but this one is mellow yellow this is one of the new colors that we got in the new dragon set and it's a gorgeous yellow color and I will say this is one of the only budget sets that I know of that has some colors that are really really close this one is lemonade but it has some colors that are really really close but none of them are exact. Like if you look at the original Star Joy set when I was swatching those out and putting them in color family order, there were some colors in there that were so close that you could barely tell the difference. This is a lot of pencils to swatch y'all, a lot. <laughs> this one is Pastel Lemon. I guess I should be sure to keep checking the numbers too to make sure I don't have any errors on here. Gosh, I hope I don't have to re-swatch the whole entire thing all over again to take a picture of it. That would be so horrible. <laughs> and the next one is gold. And this one is CB32. So this is from the Cobra set. And as you can see now, we're starting to get into a different undertone. I hope as you all swatch these, you could see why I changed the entire thing around and rearranged them all. Those of you that have the original 144 one that I did, if you go back and look at these, 
after they're all swatched out, this is yellow sand, you will see after you look at them why I redid re, um, the entire color family order. So this is yellow sand. Look how pretty this, these colors are. And then for the last one, when I like the really dark section here, I like to go over it a couple times. And some of these, just for the sake of when I come back and take a picture, I'm probably going to come back and fix a lot of these because I want it to look really, really good to be able to take a picture and make it available in my Etsy store. This one is Banana. I am just so excited to be filming this video, y'all. <laughs> you have no idea. This has been long awaited and so much work. This is cream. And we're starting to switch our color family now here. And we're going to start getting into the more orangey tones, I believe. Now my camera just flipped off on me after the 30 minutes, like I said it would earlier. But this one is Peach MN105. I'm hoping that I caught it right when it uh, flipped off. <laughs> and I'm hoping it doesn't take more than 30 minutes to swatch all of these, but I'm pretty sure that it will. But I'm just so excited to be doing this because the next video that I bring y'all, I wanted to be able to do some... Um, okay, so this is Mango MN090 or 090. I keep saying O. <laughs> But um, I wanted to be able to do a video. A couple people, actually quite a few people, have requested that I do color combinations specifically just for the dragon set because some people have gotten the dragon set and they never had Black Widow pen pencils before that. And so they are just starting with the dragon set. This one is Honeycomb SC07. And see, I said I wasn't going to say the numbers, but now here on some of them, I'm starting to say the numbers. <laughs> and let's do the last part of it here. Now we are on Gold Dust, and this is a gorgeous color that we just got that came in the Dragon set as well. Really, really pretty color. This was one of my favorites in that new set. Look how bright and vibrant and beautiful that is. This one is Egg Yolk, and this is BW28. It's probably better that I call out the numbers. This way I could come back and make sure that I don't have any errors on my chart here. Then we have Aztec Gold. This one is from the Monarch set. It's uh, MN079. This is a really pretty color too. I wanna make sure I fill in the whole square, so or the whole rectangle. So I don't have to come back and go over too many of these again. Might as well get it done while I'm swatching on camera, right? <laughs> so this is Nugget and this is CB34. And not all of these are very, very sharp. I've noticed with these that some of them are actually softer than others. And when I came in here, when I was doing my swatching and putting them all in order, if I sharpen them too much and I tried to do the harder pressure with the color, they would break. So I just left them like that. <laughs> I'm not usually using my pencils that hard when I'm coloring something because I'm spending more time to lay the layers down. This one is Mustard CB24, but I'm spending more time when I'm coloring to actually lay the layers down. So I am not trying to get a whole bunch of pigment down on the paper at one time and so I'm not generally pushing that hard but swatching is another story. I don't know if you could tell how hard I'm pushing when I do this last third of the rectangle but the further down that your hands are uh, towards the lead of the pencil you're going to be able to lay down much harder pressure that's why when you're coloring it's generally better to hold your hands a lot further back if you're trying to get your layers down and just color like this but when I'm swatching I tend to do it a little bit different and this one is ice cream this is MN126 this is a gorgeous color and again, you could see now that our colors are changing just a little bit. This is Candy M0, MN036. I 
I think the ice cream is one of the ones I was a little unsure about it because it has pink in it, but then it doesn't have as much pink in it to be with the pinks. And then I put it with the pinks and it just did not go there. So it's kind of like a standalone color. <laughs> And so I had to find somewhere to put it. But it looked really pretty there next to the candy. This one is Rust and this is SL003. It is already dark outside here, so I'm hoping that I have enough lighting because I don't like to do a whole lot of editing and change colors and such in my videos just because it makes things look different. Sometimes it is very much required and I have to do it if something is really really dark just to make sure you could see the video but a lot of times I don't like to do that so this one is from the skin set this is saffron and it's SL002 I can't wait to get into some of the darker colors <laughs> and these lay down so nicely on the paper look how pretty some of these colors are but you're going to see how gorgeous these are after they all start to come together in color family order and they're all laid down side by side. For me, that's just so satisfying, especially after all this work I put in. <laughs> this is Toadstool and this is BW03. These were really hard to see. I'm so glad they changed that because that red writing on top of the black barrel, it is just too hard to see. And then we're going to come over here and do the end. Oh, and you know what I found out when I was doing this? These erase so nicely. If I made a mistake on my original swatch and wanted to change something around, I noticed after I lay down quite a few of the colors, I need to turn my pencil case around and go to the other side now. But I noticed after I laid down quite a few of the colors that I was able to go and pull them right back up if I had made a mistake or wanted to swap something around. This one is Sherbet and this is SL009. Look how pretty that color is. I love these colors right here in this section. Oh my goodness, who am I kidding? I love all colors. <laughs> I'm sure some of you can totally relate to that, right? <laughs> and the next one is Tanned. It's SC38. And some of these, since I've been swatching and re-swatching, they feel really nice on the, on the uh, paper because they're kind of, I don't know if you could see this one, but see how it's just sort of flat on one end. So I'm just trying to stay right there where it's flat on that end because it makes it much easier to get the color down on the paper. This next one is Orange Petal and it's DG127. This is another one that is from our new Dragon set and look how beautifully these colors that were added with the Dragon set just fit right in to the other colors like I don't know when they come up with the colors for these sets and they decide you know when they come out with a new set to add to the series and they decide what colors they're adding they just really really make fantastic choices so this one is very similar to that tanned but it's just a little bit darker and the next one is Sandpiper this one is DG128 Another beautiful color. Okay, so this one is Serpent and it is DG130. So another one from the Dragon set. These go down on the paper so nicely. And look how the color just lays right down there. This next one is Sunset CB44. As you can see, we're getting into our orange shades now. This is a beautiful color. Look at that color, it's so pretty. And I'm going to lay a couple layers down here to get that one a little bit darker and then fill in the white over here. And sometimes I just need to blow off some of that pigment. <laughs> this one is from the Dragon Set as well. This is Light Rust and it is DG132. And we're going to get that last part of the gradient down there. Look how gorgeous. 
This next one is Burnt Orange, and it is SC99. I hope y'all are swatching with me. This is Carrot SL006. Oh, I'm doing it this way so that y'all could just play the video in the background and be able to swatch the colors, especially if you didn't grab my chart from my Etsy store and you just wanted to be able to swatch it in your own book. This way you could just listen to me call out the names and the numbers and you can do it on your own. The next one is from the Black Widow set. This is Pumpkin and it's BW14. Wow, this one goes down really nicely. Look at that orange, it's so deep and vibrant, it's beautiful. Next one is Sundown and it is DG133. So this is from the Dragon set once again. There were a lot of oranges and reds and some yellows in this Dragon set. And that's why we're getting quite a few of that 36 here in the first part of the swatch. These do get a little dusty. So this one is, again, from the Dragon set. This one is Dragon Breath, DG161. But these do get a little dusty, so if they get on your swatch and you see a little bit of that dust there, blow it off so it doesn't stain your swatch chart. And I'm trying to make sure I do that because, of course, I want to put this in my Etsy store and make it available for those of you who can't swatch or don't want to swatch or don't just don't have the time to mess with this or don't want to mess with it and you just want to color. <laughs> The next one is Fire, and this is CB50. This is a beautiful color. We're gonna start getting into our reds now. This color reminds me of sort of like a watermelon color. I feel like we have colors like this in other sets that are actually called watermelon. The watermelon in this set is way down here, so I'll have to see what that one looks like when I get down there, because this looks more like a watermelon to me. This one is Ladybug, and it is BW89. Another really pretty red. There's lots of reds in this set. We've got reds with purples, red with orange. We've got a lot of just plain reds. This one is Bloodshot. This is DG134. And with 180 pencils now, you've got lots of colors to choose from. Lots of colors. And I can't wait to get these all swatched out so that I could start bringing you videos actually coloring with them. And uh, quite a few people requested I do color combinations with just the Dragon set. I believe I mentioned that earlier. This one's Deep Red. This is CB54. So I wanted to be able to do that, but I wanted to be able to finish this up first because while I was swatching them or putting them in order and doing all the swatching, I had pencils laying all over the place and I couldn't get them out of order to be able to do that video because to do that video I need to be able to pull out just the dragon set and lay them on my desk to be able to put together some combinations for y'all. The next one I have is Blood Red and this is SC33. Look at all these reds. There's so many of them. So many different shades. The next one is Blood Diamond, and this is CB61. And I think we're getting into the part where I was kind of going back and forth about where to place the colors, so I'm hoping this looks good <laughs> once I get into this area here. Okay, so this is the second layer of, the, of this red. I'm gonna make sure I get enough of it down there because this is a really deep, beautiful, vibrant red. Look how gorgeous that is. This one is Brown Bug. So these are the ones that I hope really fit in well here. This one just did not, this is like a brownish red, but it just did not have enough brown in it to go with the browns. It looks much more red to me. See how much red is in there? It's a pretty color. And the next one we have is Burgundy, and this is SC77. And see now this is a red that has like a little bit of purple in it, I think. And so these just kind of fit well together when I laid them down on the paper and swatched them out. And I did it so many times because I was so unsure about these. 
The next one is Shiraz, and this is DG158, and this is also from the Dragon set. It's a beautiful color. It's like a reddish pink. I'm going to go the other direction here to make sure I get a really thick layer of that color down there. The next one is Evil Red, and this one is DG160. Okay, so this is the watermelon that I really wanted to take a look at because like I said, that fire color looks kind of like a watermelon color. This is BW57. Okay, so I guess this could be watermelon too. We're going to start getting into our pinks now. But yeah, I think those worked really well just the way that I laid them. I think I really like those. And then this one is cyanide pink. This is going to be one long video, y'all. <laughs> But I asked in my Facebook group, and y'all didn't want me to set this to music, and you wanted me to do the commentary so you can hear all the color names. But that would kind of make more sense just because you could play the video in the background and swatch along with the video. This is Made in Pink DG162, and y'all could feel like you have some company while we sit here and just do this together. <laughs> And then it makes the video available anytime you want to just come back and watch it. And the next one is Fairy Floss, and this is SL020. This is just so relaxing, though. And watching all these colors come together is so satisfying. <laughs> but I was not going to film this today, and then I thought, I better get this done. <laughs> because this is the last part of it, and I want to be able to... I gotta turn this around now. Where am I going? So fairy floss. I have to flip the whole case all the way around. And we are on Delicious Pink SC41. But I figured I better get this done now so I could have my weekend to myself because Y'all, I've been trying to force myself not to work on the weekends and it's been really, really hard because doing all of the extra things that I do for YouTube take extra time. I don't just sit here and make the videos, but like I have to do like research or like I'm putting, you know, pencils in order. Those look really, really close. Or I'm putting pencils in order, which takes a really, really long time. And then I have to make all the charts as well, so that takes even more time. This one is Pig's Ear. This is SC20. And when I'm making these charts, I go back and I just want to make sure that everything is perfect and there's no typos or anything like that. And then sometimes I go back and I change things around. And then sometimes I go back and change things around again. <laughs> or resize things or I'll do something and I won't like the way that it looked so I'll try to make it better. This one is Lady Jane DG154. It is going to be a really long video to edit. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm looking forward to that one because <laughs> I'm not just sitting here for however long the video takes swatching all the colors out. I still need to edit this and get it uploaded and do all of the other stuff that comes along with making a YouTube video. So that was DG154 Lady Jane. This next one is Bliss and this is MN073. Let me make sure it looked like there was a little eraser or some kind of something on my paper there. But I don't mind putting all of the extra work into things like this because then they're there on my channel forever for anybody to just go back and reference. Okay, so this one is Fudge MN106. This is a really pretty, really pale pink color. And I'm glad I didn't make really sharp points on any of my pencils because I would have had leads flipping off across the page on me. <laughs> everywhere but you could see now if you look at this ice cream color right here why it didn't go over here if you look at these and you swatch it out you can see that this goes much better over here with the candy the next one I have is mushroom MN070 that's why when I'm putting together my uh, pencils in color family order and organizing them like this it's so important for me to swatch and re-swatch and make sure the colors are where they're supposed to go and this one here, this mushroom color, this kind of stands out on its own as well. It's very, very different. 
And then we have light pink MN101. And see what I mean by that mushroom still just stands out on its own because I've got the light pink after it and then I'm gonna come in with the blush. And these colors here, they're all kind of like in their own category. They were all just a little bit different and they really didn't have a place, but this one here still has a lot of pink in it. And so it didn't go with the colors that had a lot of that beigey tone. And this is blush, and this is very different because it even has some purple in it. It's kind of like a, I mean, I don't know, there's no better way to describe it than to call it blush. It's like a very muted uh, pinky purple, almost like a mauve. But look how pretty that is. Now we have hot pink, and this is MN086. Now y'all, if I pronounce something wrong, I apologize. When I do this and I call out all the names and everything, it is kind of overwhelming and so I may mess up a name here and there because like especially now there's a lot of colors, but this is Nail Polish DG135 and I've already put so much time into this and then it's like once I get into making the video, I'm already like, oh, I'm almost done, you know? <laughs> so if I pronounce something wrong, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but y'all will leave comments. Quite a few people have left comments trying to correct me and tell me how to say certain things. And I'm just like, okay, like, and then I'll realize that I did say it incorrectly. But I had one person, like, that's what reminded me down here because I said this looked kind of like a mauve color or like a muted mauve. This one is Cobra, or from the Cobra set, but uh, CB43 Fancy Pink. But someone had made a comment and told me I was saying mauve wrong, but I've heard several different people say mauve and mauve. And I think there's different people say things different ways. And I also feel like I've got lots of people from different countries, too, that follow me and say things in different ways. So that makes a huge difference as well. If I say something differently or I say something that is not the same way that you say it, then I apologize. <laughs> but we all do say things differently. This one is pretty pink and it is SL014. But there are a lot of words that we all do say differently. And we all have different accents as well. But I just wanted to put that, out, put that out there because if I say something wrong, it's not like I meant to say it wrong or I may just be overwhelmed and at that point where I've been working on some project like this or whatever and I just, I'm to the point where I'm at the last part of it and I just wanna get it done. <laughs> So this one is Bubblegum and this is CB35. The next color I have is Rosy. This is DG136. This again is from the Dragon Set. It's another beautiful color. I really want to color a flower or a flower and some leaves and use just the Dragon Set and do maybe a tutorial with just the colors from that set as well as that color combination video. If you'd like to see those, you need to let me know in the comments below. This next one is Plum Pudding. This is one of my favorite colors in the set. Look how pretty this is. This one is Ruby Rose DG159, but this is one of those sets that you lay down and they just really lay a whole lot of color right down onto the paper without having to really apply hard pressure. And I really love that about them. This one is Crimson Stone, PG155. I am loving how this color order came together. It all makes it worth it to me in the end. Once everything is done. <laughs> and now I'm going to be taking a break. <laughs> And I'm not putting anything else in color family order right now. <laughs> this is Lavender MN039. Quite a few of you have been asking me to put the color pencils, the 240 set, into color family order. And I don't know, y'all, that is overwhelming to me. I do not think I will be doing that. I don't know, maybe I'll get crazy enough and decide that I will, but... I don't even think enough people own those pencils to make it worth it for me to put those in color family order. If you own those pencils, you'll have to let me know down below. But I'm not sure when I did my review. This one is Pastel Purple SCO2. 
I'm not sure when I did my review on those. I know it got a whole lot of views, and they're really nice pencils. I really do like them a lot, and you get so many colors, but I'm not really sure how many people actually purchased those, and I remember the situation with those. The um, price shot back up right away after I did that video. I don't want to say it was because of my video getting so many views or because of my review. This is Bruise DG156. They caught on and all of a sudden those pencils shot up to a lot more than what I paid for them and then they didn't come back down to right around um, I think Black Friday and they had another sale and I made sure that I posted it in my Facebook group when they had that sale. I know a lot of you were waiting for those pencils to drop in price again. Okay, so the next one we're gonna have is Deep Purple SC53. If you've not seen my review on those Calor Color Pencils, those are really nice, a really nice budget set. This one, did I say SC53? SC53. <laughs> But those are a really nice budget set, and if you are looking for a whole lot of colors, those would be a really great set to have, because there are 240 colors in that set. But putting those in color family order, y'all, I don't know about that. Somebody else asked me again today in a YouTube comment, and I don't know. <laughs> it seems like a lot of work. Okay, so Tulip CB55. Man, it is completely dark out now, and I am just hoping that my couple of lights that I have here are going to be enough for this video so that y'all could actually see these colors. And hopefully you're swatching with me so that you could actually see the colors. <laughs> so this is Amethyst BW08, and you can see that we are now getting into the purples. And that is something else that you get quite a few of in this set. I think this is a really good balanced set at this point. Now that we have 180 colors and the release of that last set, this one is Purple Haze CB65. But after the release of that last dragon set, those colors just fit in in the most perfect places within that previous 144 colors. When the Monarch set came out, those fit perfectly into the previous set of colors as well. This one is Blue Tongue and it is DG157. This is the color I was kind of going back and forth about. Where do I put this? But I think it goes really well here. We've got Gray Slate, which is MN103. Yeah, I think that Blue Tongue goes really, really well there. And then this color, this is one of those colors that is a little bit different. So then I've got washed purple. Okay, so this is a very different color. And this is one of those colors that is definitely a purple, but it's very, very different and very unique to this set. Look at that. It's like a gray purple. It's so pretty. And this would be a great color for those of you that do coloring pages where you like a lot of more muted colors something really good to add with um, you know like this color here and then some of the colors like the blush in this set this one down here is really really pretty and then this next one is eggplant it's MN116 and we're going back into some different purples with a different undertone now so you'll see how all these come together after they're all laid out onto the paper and this is my Spring Hill paper I feel like at this point, I don't even need to mention that anymore. <laughs> this is Grape uh, CB118, but I feel like I don't even need to mention that anymore because I feel like everybody knows what paper I use, but I know that I have a few, or quite a few, actually a lot of new subscribers. My channel is just really, really growing so, so quickly. And I know that I have a lot of new subscribers because I see you in the comments saying, new subscriber here. <laughs> so welcome to my channel and my videos. I hope you're enjoying them. So this is Space CB80. So we're going to start, I think, getting into the blues here, possibly. This might be the darkest of the purples. It's kind of like a bluish purple. It's 
kind of different. This is navy blue and it is MN123. Now I have Starry Night and this is BW78. This is another really pretty deep blue color, deep dark blue. Then we have Galaxy Blue. I'm going to keep blowing off that dust there. This one is SC11. And I really love this swatch chart I made. I know it's different from the previous ones that I have had in my Etsy shop, but I wanted to be able to get 180 colors all in even order. And I love how they look on this swatch chart, making it go this direction instead of what you would find from the typical ones or the other ones that I have in my Etsy shop or that I've made previously and given away for free. So this is Picasso Sky and it's DG150, but I really love how this one looks in the vertical format. This color is one of the ones too that I was like, where do I put that? And I finally settled on a place, so we'll see after I come down here and add these other colors how it looks. This is Zephyr Blue BW59, and this is a gorgeous, really dark, dark, dark color. And so I want to make sure I get this down here really good so you could really see that color, especially if you're going to be grabbing this after I photograph it and put it in my Etsy shop. Get that dust off there. I don't want it to smear into my paper in the background there. So this one is Saber and this is DG151 and this is a gorgeous color that we got in our new dragon set. And the dragon set is now again available on Amazon if you're in the US. I'm not sure about the other places in the world or other countries but I know it is available again in the US and a lot of you have been a little bit hesitant to order because the date says February but Amazon wouldn't have them available if they weren't available. They wouldn't have them available to be able to pre-order if they didn't know that they were on their way to the warehouse but I'm pretty sure that you will get your pencils prior to that date. But this one was Dark Night, and this is DG152. And that was another new color that we got in the Dragon set. This one, which is the last one on this first sheet, is Blue Moon MN042. This is a really dark, deep, vibrant color again. Okay, so here is the first sheet. And so that's how all of the colors came together. Look how beautiful those are. But I think that I really do love my order. I really do. <laughs> Y'all have to let me know in the comments below. But we're going to start the second sheet now. I just wanted to, wanted you all to see what those look like after they all came together. Because this Sabre color, this was another one I kept questioning. And I would put it with the greens and it would look green. Then I would put it with the blues and it would look blue. But in the end, it had a lot more blue in it than it did green. So I just put it here with this other odd color, this Dark Knight that was also from the Dragon set. So I kept the, both of those together and I think they look really pretty together. So we're going to continue with our blues on the next sheet. So the first one we have on this sheet is Storm Blue MN064. And next we have Blue Horizon. This one is SC17. Did I say what that last one was? Storm Blue was MN064. So we've got Blue Horizon, SC17. Some of the blues in this set are just absolutely gorgeous. I love so many of the colors in this set. And you all know this is one of my favorite sets of pencils. And I think it probably takes first after my Prisma colors now. This is a BW107, forget me not. But I'm pretty sure this one is up there for me now, especially now that I have 180 colors. <laughs> and now that I've done all this work to get them in color family order according to undertones, I've just put so much work into them now and have them so organized and beautiful. <laughs> 
that I'm going to have to use them so much more often. If there is a video that you would like to see, this one is Ocean MN056. But if there's a video that you would like to see with the Black Widows, let me know in the comments below and I will try to make sure that it happens. And that is how I like to do my videos. I like to take requests for videos. A lot of the videos you all have seen on my channel are requests of videos that some of you all have wanted to see. So this is Pleasant Blue and this is DG149. But I like to do videos that you all want to see. I mean, it doesn't really make sense to do a video that nobody wants to see, right? <laughs> But a lot of the times I come up with my own ideas too. A lot of the ones from my tips and tricks series and a lot of my beginner series, especially my tips and tricks series, those are all just ideas that I've come up with and put together. This one is Demon, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Denim <laughs> MN083. But if you've not seen my tips and tricks series on how to improve your coloring skills, I will make sure that I link that video, or not the video, but um, link that playlist up in the upper right hand corner so y'all can find it. And there are probably 18 or 19 videos in that series now, so there is a lot of content to keep you busy. This one is Blue Heaven, and this is SC51. Look at all these gorgeous shades of blue. I think here soon we're going to start getting into our teal type shades. This one is Blue Daisy MN113, so this is from the Monarch set which was our set that was the last new set before the dragon set. Oh, I love how these colors are coming together. It just makes it all that much more worth it all the time I put into this. This is Aquarius CB81. But I think now I'm gonna put my time and energy into creating other things rather than putting another pencil set into color family order right now because I'm kind of, I don't know, it was really relaxing while I was doing it, but I'm just, I'm glad I have finished. And I wanna kind of move to something else to give myself a little bit of a break. Okay, so this is Sky MN037, but I have something else that I'm thinking of working on that will be something for my Etsy store. I don't really want to share too much yet about what I'm thinking of doing, but it's going to be, of course, something to help out the coloring community and a lot of you that, not even just those of you that are beginners, this will be something that will be great for everyone. That is my absolute favorite color in the entire set. Those of you that have been um, following my videos for quite some time, you know that that, is, that color sky is my favorite. So I have Opal MN097. But yeah, I have some other things I wanna work on and so I wanna get started on those. And I've gotta come up with some other ideas for YouTube as well. It's not just like you have video ideas in your head all of the time. I've already done so many videos and I feel like I've done so many things already that sometimes it's like, what else am I gonna do? So it's like I have to come up with video ideas. <laughs> and so that's part of it too. And then of course, filming the entire thing. So this is Cat's Eye MN124. And at this point, I feel like I could even redo some of my older videos in different ways and they would still be very, very helpful, especially since so many of my videos just get lost. And a lot of people don't actually know how to search my channel. If you go on my channel, you can actually go to the bar at the top and there is a little search bar up there that you could actually search for whatever it is you're looking for. If you're looking for a specific tutorial, 
you can actually do a search and something will probably come up because I think at this point I've probably done a tutorial for everything. But this is Opal Green CB100 and we're going to start getting into the green shades now. Look at those gorgeous blues up there, oh my goodness. The colors in this set are just so, so pretty. That's a really pretty color, that opal green. The next one is Wizard, and this is a color that is from the Dragon set again, DG140. There's quite a few really pretty greens or I think like, yeah, a couple of them in that dragon set. And we've got Turquoise, which is SC30. And then I have Fizz, which is also from the dragon set. And this is DG147. And the reason I like to do a gradient is because I like to see all the different values I can get from just one colored pencil, because if I am going to use a color, as I am using that color, I may want to really lighten up on that color as I'm coming into the highlight area and maybe blend it in with a little bit of white or something. And so it helps me to just be able to see all the different values of every single color. This is Emerald MN120 because I like to use my colored pencils in different ways when I'm coloring. And so it really helps me to see what each different colored pencil can do or the colors that I could get from it. Because I may want to use that color for my deep dark shadows and it may not necessarily be a color that is good for deep dark shadows, but it may have one part of that gradient I'm seeing on the paper that is going to be really good with the other color that I'm using. And, they, and then it helps me to see that they would work well together. This one is Everglade and it is BW94. You're gonna see after I continue to lay these colors down how many beautiful greens are in this set. You've got so many different colors for leaves. So we've got Venom CB04. But if you love coloring leaves and flowers, just between the Monarch set and this new Dragon set, you've got so many colors to do anything that is like a botanical page, like in Johanna's uh, World of Flowers book or any one of her other books. She has flowers and um, leaves and everything. So this one is Toxic Green. This is BW104. Gosh, I'm waiting for my SD card to run out of space. <laughs> and so I keep looking up to make sure that I'm still good <laughs> or my camera's not turned off on me again. It's turned off on me twice already. This is Green Glow DG141. But <laughs> I'm doing it this way because y'all requested it this way. <laughs> And it's going to take so much editing. I don't know that I'm looking forward to that, y'all. I'm probably going to be editing this video for three to four hours. <laughs> but that's okay, because like I said, it makes it always available on my channel. This next one is Sapphire, and this is MN085. This is a really pretty green. And we've got the last part of our gradient here. This is another really pretty color. This is Green Slime MN052. Look how pretty that color is. And then we have Grub Green. And I think I realized on my original one that I had Green Grub <laughs> on my swatch chart where I did the 144 colors. I had a couple things wrong on there. I mean, aside from my color family order, I don't know, like that has changed for me so much now that I have done it to so many pencil sets and I've gotten so much more experience doing it and really learned exactly what I like. I just felt that it was really necessary to really change this one all around. And I am loving the way that it's come together. 
I really, really am loving how it looks. I think the colors are in perfect order, at least I think so. Of course, y'all have to let me know what you think in the comments of my color order. <laughs> but this one is Pine DG148. And then this is Irish Green SC45. Look at that pretty bright green. How many of y'all like listening to the pencils on the paper? I just love it. <laughs> and then we've got Cicada, and this is BW13. Oh, this next one I really love. This is Peppermint MN112. Really, really pretty pale green. Pale, but still kind of bright like a pastel-y type color. It's really pretty. This next one is Cool Green and this is MN076. This is another really pretty color. There are so many pretty greens in this set and a lot of them are very different than what you would find in other sets. I mean they would have to be with 180 colors now, right? And this is Calm Lime DG143. But like I said earlier, even though you've got 180 colors in this set, you still have a lot of colors that really kind of stand out on their own and they're very unique. And you're not really getting doubles of everything like you would find in a lot of other budget sets. This is Passion. <laughs> I love this color. Y'all don't know why, right? <laughs> but yeah, this color, this beautiful bright green is one of my favorites in any set. Any kind of like bright yellowish green, I always love that color. This is MN115, but it makes it even better because it's called Passion. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. It's a little bit like the Chartreuse in the Prisma color set, I think. Then we have Washed Green. This is MN108. Oh my gosh, swatching these pencils, I am just like, my gosh, I have like pigment everywhere. <laughs> it's ruining my nails and everything. MN108, did I say that already? Well, if I did, I said it again. <laughs> Let's get that last. This is a really, really, really pretty color. And it's another one that is very different from what you would find in other sets. The next one is Lime Fruit, and this is SC29. Look at these pretty greens. My goodness. But yeah, that washed green, it really didn't have a place, so I kind of stuck it in between where we got ready to switch the green undertones. This one is Glass Blade and it's DG144. But yeah, there's nothing else that really goes with that washed green. It's a very unique color. And there are quite a few unique colors in this set. That blush color is absolutely gorgeous. The saber is very, very different. It's like you look at it one way and it's blue and you look at it another way and it's green. It is so weird, but it has much more blue in it than it does green, like I said earlier. So this is DG142. This color is called Zombie. <laughs> what a fun color. Oh my gosh, I have to do a leaf tutorial with this set. There are so many greens and I would love to take some of these greens and mix them with other colors and color a leaf. This is Apple, MN047, but mix them with other colors and make a leaf that just really stands out and pops off the page and has all different colors in it mixed in with green. And if you've not seen some of my videos like that, I actually did one. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner, but I did one that had a lot of greens and like blue greens and pinks. And oh my gosh, by the time I was done, it looked almost iridescent. It was so super cool. 
So this next one is olive green, and this is SC62. Man, I brought my coffee in here to do this and sit, because I knew I was going to be sitting for a long time. And my coffee is cold. <laughs> so it's like, why did I make coffee? Because it is just totally cold now. <laughs> And I'm sure it doesn't taste good anymore. And so much time has passed while I'm swatching that I probably shouldn't be drinking coffee right now anyway because it's already 6.15 in the evening. <laughs> this is Leaf Green MN058. Yeah, so in the earlier part of today, today's a Friday for me. So Friday's like a typical work day for me because everybody else is out of the house. So I try to get a lot of stuff done on Fridays. But in the first part of the day, wait, I think I'm messing up here. What's next? Forest, okay. But in the um, first part of the day, I was finishing up putting, or finishing up this customized swatch chart, and I had to go back and proofread it three or four times just to make sure everything was perfect and there were no misspellings or anything. But this one is CB96. And then after I got done doing that, I had to go get my son at school. And, oh my gosh, I just do not like carpool. How many of you are moms that have to sit in carpools? <laughs> I homeschooled my kids for so many years, and I still have one that's still being homeschooled, but he's in the college program right now, and so he is almost done, and he's 17, but this next one is Fang Green BW009, but he is still homeschooled, but since he's in the college program, I don't have to do that much for him anymore, but he's still considered a homeschooler at 17. But he's pretty much been done with high school for quite some time now. He was done with high school when he was 16. But my 14-year-old, I still have to go sit in carpool. And my husband wasn't available to do it today. So I had to go out and do that. And sit and wait. And then I couldn't film this video until I came back <laughs> from doing that. So the next one is grass green, and this is SC82. And I was just going to wait, and I decided I want to get this done because I don't want to be doing this on the weekend because, like I said earlier, I've been trying to force myself to not do any work on the weekends. And last weekend, I was working on these pencils. I think this needs to go over just a little bit more here. There we go. But yeah, last weekend I spent increments out of the entire weekend late into the night working on putting these into order. This one is Iceberg MN060. And y'all know I keep saying O, oh, but I mean zero. <laughs> and this is another very different color, but it's a very pretty color. And let's see how dark we can get this one laid down there. The next one is Charcoal Green SC49. This is also a very different color. It's like a green gray. But it still has quite a bit of green in it. And you all see as I continue to swatch these that there are quite a bit of colors that are rather different from what you're going to get in another set. Move this up a little bit so you all could see. This is Poison, and it is MN084. I have to blow that away so that I don't get that charcoal green mixed in here with this pretty light color. This next color is Antler, and these two went very well together. And I don't think, I don't remember, maybe I did have them next to one another previously on my other swatch. I think I did. But they're both very different colors and very unique. And then this is one of my favorites too. This MN 
or 088. This is called Green Tea. Look at this color. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It's like a gold green and it's just so pretty. This is really pretty to put on the center of flowers or to create gold with if you're coloring something like a mirror or something that you want to look a little bit brassy but have like a little bit of that green tone in it as well. And then this one is a new one that we got. Um, it's called Cardboard and it's from the Dragon Set. It is DG146. And this is very beautiful and different as well. We're getting into some of these shades that look very gold now. And there's a, quite a few of these in this Black Widow set. And this is something I don't think you get with a whole lot of other sets. There's some really unique colors within these golds. And then here we have light bronze. This one looks almost bronze. But then this one is called light bronze. This one is MN026. We got this one in our Monarch set. And look how pretty that is. And none of them are exactly the same. You'll see that as I lay these colors down. None of them are exactly the same, but yet they're all still very unique to this set. And then we have an olive gold, and this is SD012. 012, see I did it again. <laughs> But look how pretty this olive gold is. And I think my camera just shut off on me again, so I'm not sure how much was missed. <laughs> now this is Cobra, and it is CB21. But look how different all of these are. They're just all so unique. I just... I don't know, when I was swatching these out and trying to put them in order, I was just so excited about this section of the chart, of the swatch chart, as I was swatching these colors. And I just thought they all needed their own little section there, right underneath these different greens. I thought it came together really beautifully. This is Brown Fog, and this one is SL021. And so it looks like now we're getting into our beigey tones and we're going to go from our beiges into our brown tones. The next one is suede and this is SD013. And the next one is eggshell. This is a pretty color as well. This one is SL007. This one looks like it has a tinge of pink in it, possibly, or like a peach, maybe. And the next one is Fawn, MN121. And this Fawn color was another one that I was trying to figure out where to put it on the swatch chart, where it would fit best, and it just seemed to fit really nicely here after the eggshell. The next one I have is from the skin set. This is Merc. And so this is SL017. And as far as the, the numbers go, you will notice from the numbers that you know that this one goes to the skin, skin set. It has an SL in front. And so the SL stands for skin light. So if it has an SD, then it came from the skin dark set. So you will always know, even with them in color family order, what set they came from. So this is Light Mocha. And this one is SD0. So this is from the Skin Dark set, the Dark Tone set. And it is 019, SD019. I think I need a swap around again so we're going to turn this around we are getting very close to the end y'all and maybe i'll actually finish filming today <laughs> so this is leather this is another one from the dark um, skin tone set it is sd001 look at that pigment just lay right down there on that paper so this is olive brown. This one is SD016. 
I'm getting so excited that I'm almost done with this. <laughs> you all have no idea. <laughs> this is Stinkbug BW01. So this is one of the first colors in the first set. It's numbered one and it's from the Black Widow set. So yeah, y'all probably have no idea what it feels like for me to finally come to the end of this. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate. <laughs> and the next one we have is Saddle. This is from the Dragon set. And so this is DG137. So this is one of our newer colors. And this one is actually pretty close to that stink bug, but you can see a difference. This one looks like it might have a little bit more orange in it. And then let's move back up here to the top. Oh my gosh, y'all, we're on our last row. So this is Dark Tan SC18. And then we have Foxy Brown. So Foxy Brown is BW22. There are quite a few different browns in this set. We've got browns with oranges, browns with reds, and then we've got our regular just straight up brown colors. This one is Castle, it's DG138. And I think we are getting into the regular browns. This one still probably has a little bit of orange in it. Let's go back this other direction so we could get a really good swatch of that. And you all know I'm only being really particular about this because I need to be able to take a picture of it and put it in my Etsy shop. The next one I have is Brown Brick and it is DG139. Then I have Rattlesnake, which is CB66. Oh, look how different that color is. Wow, that's a pretty color. Next one is Rusty, MN122. I feel the end coming, y'all. <laughs> Hopefully y'all sat and just swatched with me and feel like you have company while you swatch. Maybe I should have done this live. <laughs> I've not done a live yet because I'm just, I get really nervous about that. I don't know. This is Chestnut. Uh, CB68, but I just get really nervous about the technical part of it or, you know, having technical difficulties when you're live and then for something like this, that takes such a long time. Okay, so what do we have next? The next one is Cinnamon SD011. Oh, y'all, after I get this done, I'm going to throw a party. <laughs> okay, so let's do the last part of our gradient here and really get some of that color down. The next one is Negra, and it is SD010. And now we're getting into some more of our truer browns. This one's called Tarantula and it's BW31. These look a little bit similar. I think they are different though. They are different. This one looks like it has a little bit more red in it maybe. Okay, the next one is Mud. This is one of my favorite browns in this set to be able to add uh, detail with because it's dark but not too dark. I like doing uh, the center of flowers. If you've watched my last couple uh, tutorials in Johanna Basford's World of Flowers, I use this color right along with uh, the light bronze and they make such a beautiful combination. But this one's SD022. Next we have Mahogany, MN087. And then we are going to Dark Chocolate, which is SC040. This is a very dark brown. So I hope you all could see as the colors start to come together 
and you could see a lot of them down on the paper now why I arranged them exactly the way that I did. Hopefully you all can see the undertones of each color as they lay next to one another and how I try to fit in some of the ones that were sort of odd colors or very unique. This one is Chocotone SD023. But the browns were pretty or fairly easy to put into order. And the grays were fairly easy as well because you've got your warm grays and your cool grays. And then here we have Huntsman, and this one is BW117, and this is from the Black Widow set, which was one of our very first, which was the very first set. So yeah, if you just want one set and all you could afford is one set, I would just go with the initial Black Widow set because you get a little bit of something in there from every color family, and it is going to be the one that is uh, most balanced. This is Dungeon DG145, and this is a really different, beautiful color that we got with the new Dragon set. And I know it's called the Dragon set, but I don't know. Dragons can be like any color, can't they? I look at that set, and I see many more colors to be able to color something like Botanicals, like even this Dungeon color that I just laid down. That would be great for tree bark. And we are gonna do the last part of the swatch. So we're getting into our grays now. I've got my light gray, which is MN048. I have to make sure I get all of that out of there because this color is so, so light. It's almost white. This would be a really great color to create white, actually. Because when you're trying to create white, you need to use grays, but that would be a really great color to be able to create white on your white coloring pages. And this is dark gray, MN109. And these, like I said, are also all separated into undertones, so it's not going to be, um, you know, light to dark. It's going to be separated into a cool gray family or a warm gray family. This is Spiderweb, BW16, and then it's going to go light to dark from there. Oh, oops. Did you all see what I just did? Time for the eraser. This one was Spiderweb. I just put it in the wrong place. Now let me show you how amazing, how the color just lifts right up. But yeah, look at that. I discovered that when I first initially was working with these, but look, you can't even see it anymore. So this is Spiderweb BW16, and so it's going to go up here. I knew I would eventually make a mistake somewhere. <laughs> I didn't want to say, oh my goodness, I made it this far without a mistake because I figured I would jinx myself. And then I would make a mistake. So sure enough, I ended up making a mistake somewhere. <laughs> but that's okay, it was fixable. Shadow MN125. Look at these pretty grays. The next one I have is Dim Gray. Look how close we are coming to the end of this, y'all. If my camera goes out on me when I'm this close to the end, or the memory card gets full, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> I'm going to be frustrated. <laughs> it's not going to happen, though. <laughs> I'm going to, like, bring myself all kinds of bad luck now, y'all. Okay, so charcoal, CB69. I have to make it to the end. <laughs> Gosh, y'all, by the time I finish this, it's going to be dinner time. It already is dinner time. And then SD024 is midnight. I am so excited to finally have my finalized swatch chart, y'all. You have no idea how excited I am. Or maybe you do. I don't know. But this is exciting for me. So this is one of our blacks. But in this set, you get a warm black which is what this is, and then you get a cool black, 
and you will see that. So this is gunmetal, and I think now we're starting with our cooler grays. If you look at this gray really closely, you could tell that it has blue in it. I have to keep blowing, I don't want to get that black mixed in with this color, so I just keep blowing that pigment away. So that was Gunmetal MN092. Now we have Graythorn, and this is SD018. Then we have Cobblestone. This is another one from the Dragon set that we just got. So this is Cobblestone, and it's DG153. So we got that initial layer there. Then let's come back and do the second part of our gradient with a little bit harder pressure and then finish it off with the hardest pressure down here on the end and I like to go in a little bit of a circular motion there just to get that color down on the paper. This one is medium gray MN072. Now I think I gotta pick a little bit of that up with my trusty eraser here. There we go. If I wasn't putting this up in my Etsy shop, I would not be being this particular over it, but <laughs> I want you all to have a really nice copy. So this is flat bat black. This is CB95. See, this one is still very gray to me, like a very dark gray. And you're going to see in a minute, we still have this color here called Black Widow, which is another black. And so after you look at this all come together, you'll be able to see the difference in the grays in this section and then this section here. It's kind of like how they do it in the Prismacolor set. And then this one is MN110. And y'all, it is time to celebrate. <laughs> we are on the final color, Black Widow. And this is our other black and you can see how these are different. And see, that's why I was curious about the two different whites. We have two different whites and two different blacks in this set. And you can clearly see, because we're on white paper, how the blacks are different. But I would need black paper to lay the whites down to be able to tell how the whites are different. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at these colors. Oh my gosh, this is just total beauty. <laughs> And I'm just so excited to be done. But I love how they came together. They look so good. I am so excited about the way that I laid them out. And I'm really happy with it. So I hope you all are too. But I think I was able to fit all of the colors that are sort of odd or, odd or very unique into their right places. And I really like how it looks as a whole. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope that this video was helpful. And you all were able to get all of your pencils or your colors swatched out. So if you were able to go and purchase this in my Etsy store, and you were able to swatch all of your colored pencils on to the actual swatch charts that I made already in color family order. I hope that those were really, really helpful for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of both of these and I'm going to make these available in my Etsy shop as well. I am going to do that now. And when this video is live, these will all be available for you to go ahead and download. And I'm also going to have a blank one like this, of course it will not say Black Widow up here, but it is going to just say color swatch chart uh, for your colored pencils or whatever, and then it'll have a line here for you to um, label it as to what colored pencil set it is, because this is really great for y'all to take and put it in a page protector. Okay, so let me just show you how I do this so y'all could see, but you can purchase the generic one in my Etsy shop and be able to use it for like the Sioux Color Pencils or the 180 uh, Brute Fooner, or I, can't, I think the Keller has 180 set too, but you've got nice big swatches on here that you can really clearly see your colors and everything is very readable with the text that I chose. And then you would have them on your swatch chart 
to where you would have this on one side and then you would just be able to flip it to get the other side. And I just think that is really, really convenient. But then you could put this page protector in your binder and just be able to keep it there and flip it back and forth. Or if you wanted to be able to take them out of the page protector, you can take them and put them right up against one another. Got erasers there. <laughs> but you could put them right up against one another. And if you were working on a coloring page, it makes it very, very easy to be able to put the colors very close to one another whether it is on one sheet or the other. So like here, for instance, we've got all our browns and we always like to mix our browns sometimes with our oranges. So you could hold them fairly close and see how the colors uh, really look together if you just angled the page a little bit or took one swatch chart and just laid it right over the top of the other swatch chart. It just makes it very easy to look at some of the colors. Say I wanted to mix some blues with purples. I could just lay my blues and purples right next to one another and look and see how I think that they would go together. And then, of course, because they're in color family order, I've got my blues with my greens, and oftentimes we like to put blues with greens. So we could look at our colors and get a real clear vision and really be able to tell what our colors are gonna look like together. So if I was looking at this blue daisy color and I wanted to mix it with something like fizz, I could clearly see these two colors and what they would look like together. And then I would just test them out on another you know, scrap sheet of paper and just be able to see how they would work together. But I tried to make sure that when I made this swatch chart, it made it very, very easy on everyone to be able to choose their colors, see the colors up close, one right up against the other. And I really like how the colors sit right one on top of the other because with because with my previous swatch charts, you can't see them in that way. I think the only other one that I did that way was the one I made available for the um, for the 120 square brute fooners. But you could clearly see the colors all stacked right up on one another in every single color family, which makes this really, really nice. And the text that I chose makes it very easy to be able to see everything. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I will make sure that all of this is available in my Etsy shop as soon as this video goes live. Everything will be linked down in the description box below. The paper that I used is the Spring Hill paper and it's looking like that is being, or that is right now a little bit harder to get on uh, Amazon right now. And a lot of people have asked me that if you cannot get the Spring Hill paper, the next one or the other one that I recommend if you wanna swatch your colored pencils or print out PDFs would be the Nina 67 pound paper. And I will make sure I link that down below as well because you are gonna need some good paper to be able to swatch out your colored pencils if you don't already have some. So that is the whole 180 set of Black Widow colored pencils swatched out into color family order. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Happy coloring. Bye. Bye.